Eight years ago, I uploaded this video showcasing my wiki for um, an open scholarly workflow, as I called it. Uh, the idea was to be able to read uh, papers from my PhD thesis and take notes uh, on those papers and share these notes with others. Um, so I was using DocuWiki and uh, I had some scripts that let me import um, citation metadata from Google Scholar into Bib uh, Bibdesk and then I would read the PDFs uh, in uh, something like uh, Skim. And while I was reading, I was highlighting uh, text and adding annotations like this. And I could then hit a, a keyboard command and uh, it would actually automatically generate uh, a wiki page for me with the right metadata. And uh, then I could go and look at all of my um, highlights, so, so my raw highlights, and then I would on the other side here um, basically extract the, the main ideas from this article. Um, and in the end, I would end up with this kind of very nice um, wiki page. Um, that would have the, the citation backlinks, uh, the notes, my, my high level ideas and, and so on and so on. And, um, uh, I used this for quite, and because I was using the Bibdesk, um, site keys, I could then also use those directly when I was uh, writing articles. So I used this for several years and I, um, collected, uh, quite a number of notes. Um, unfortunately, um, even getting DocuWiki to run uh, because it was based on an old version with lots of custom plugins is difficult and um, it the system never gave me the flexibility that I really wanted. So now that I've been playing with Rome, I've been looking into how I could uh, migrate all of these nodes into Rome. Um, because DocuWiki is based on simple text files, uh, it wasn't very difficult to just um, do some search and replace um, to change to a format that um, Rome understands, which is basically Markdown. Um, and so here I just imported a few hundred of these note files. Uh, I'm still experimenting a little bit with exactly how to format it to make it work the best, but this is my attempt so far. So I'm keeping the site key as the title, which doesn't look too good, but I don't want to use the whole citation because I might want to actually refer to this. Um, but I do include the whole citation here. I also include the authors and I make each of these um, individually linkable. Um, and then here are, I'm not including all of the clippings from the articles because I think that's so long after, I don't think those are very useful. So I'm only including the notes that I actually wrote myself. Um, and here, um, you see how that looks. Some articles I took a lot of notes from, some articles I took very few notes from. Um, but what's really amazing here that you couldn't do in a DocuWiki is that I could go, so one thing I can do, of course, I can click on Jeremy Rochelle and right away we see three different papers that he's in, just using these backlinks. Um, that's not so interesting, but let's say here that we're going down and we're seeing um, algorithm and we say that's something we're really interested in i'm going to turn that into a link now if i click on this we see right away so i haven't written anything on this page yet but we see this um bullet that i uh, tagged we can expand it and we can see all the text here in the context and we right away see what the citation is and which paper it comes from um, I haven't used this tag before, but it's suggesting to me 43 unlinked references to algorithms. So this is basically where I'm using that word. And so here, for example, from uh, this paper by Bouchard, um, and we see again directly um, the context. So it doesn't just tell us that there's a backlink to this paper, but it tells us at a glance um, the algorithmic dim dimension, and we can tell whether that's interesting. Here's a distributed algorithm. Uh, here's another paper mentioning algorithmic dimension. I actually never knew 
that Rita Koop and uh, Paul Bouchard talked about the same thing. So already I'm making connections between different papers. Um, and if I want to, to make these links formal, I can just uh, use this. And now you see here that this has been linked and it comes up here. Um, and of course, this isn't um, restricted to just um, uh, uh, papers that I've uh, uh, imported, but you see here also links to Twitter threads, uh, Minerva ideas, uh, some no recent notes I took from reinventing discovery, um, all kinds of stuff. So um, to me, that's really interesting being able to reuse my old notes in this way.